Did you ever want to use a bubble gun inside Fortnite? Here's how to create your own in 4 easy steps. To get started, let's talk about all the devices we will need. Start with a class selector device with these settings. The next thing to add is a damage volume which you need to set up like this. Now let's bring in a HUD controller and turn everything you don't want to show off. Furthermore, we will need an input trigger device with these attributes. To actually hold something in our hands, we need an item grantor and a proxy weapon. To show the bubbles, we use the VFX power-up device and attach it to the player with no sound. Finally, add an audio mixer device and turn off the sound of the proxy weapon. From here, things are getting a little crazy, but have no fear as we use the power of our awesome particle tool set Niagara. Create a new Niagara system and change the spawn rate to 100. Click on Initialize Particles and use the following settings to be able to control the color of the bubbles through your system. Next is Shape Location where we need to add a transform because we want the bubbles to start in front of the player. We want to add velocity to our bubbles so they fly forward. Let's make our bubbles bigger the older they are. To achieve that we need a curve to be able to control the effect over time. We don't need any gravity or drag for the bubble gun, so let's get rid of those two. To add collisions to the bubbles, add collision to the stack and use these settings. Now remove the sprite renderer and add a mesh renderer. Inside mesh renderer, change the currently used mesh to sphere and enable material overrides. To add our own custom bubble material, we need to click on the explicit material slot and create a new material. For the next step, open up the Material Editor by double-clicking the material and set your Blend Mode to Translucent and your Lightning Mode to Surface Translucency Volume. These bubbles will have to wiggle a little. Let's make sure to turn Max World Position Offset Displacement to 5 and always evaluate World Position Offset to ON. Let's add some basic parameters to control the shininess of the material. For the color, connect your nodes like shown on screen. The Particle Color node will allow you to control the color of your bubbles through the Niagara system. Next, we want to make the bubbles transparent. Add a Fresnel node and two parameters and connect them to the Opacity channel. Those two parameters allow us to fine-tune the look and how much we can see through the bubbles. To add a little wobble to the bubbles, use the Setup. You can control the strength of the effect with the connected parameters. And now you have a bubble gun that does no damage. Well, how do we solve that? Let's jump in our final step and bring back the damage volume we created before. We bind the events to our trigger to connect it to the player and activate it when we click the fire button. In order to move the damage volume with the player, we need to add a verse device. Copy the verse code linked in the description into an empty verse file and build your verse code. Drag the device into your scene and connect your player spawner in a damage volume. As you can see, the red volume is now attached to the player while rotating and moving accordingly. You can control the distance of the damage zone to the player by changing the damage zone offset setting in your bubblegun damage device. And this is how you create your own bubblegun in 4 easy steps. For more information and other cool gameplay ideas, check out the link in the description.